Meanwhile, new details tonight, a plea deal has been accepted by the West Virginia man who shot and killed three co-workers and tried killing two state troopers in Smithburg, Maryland last June. Yeah, DC News Now's Lex Juarez was in the courtroom as two deals were presented and victims' families begged the judge to reconsider. It was a difficult morning for nearly everyone sitting in that courtroom. Emotions filled the room as family members who lost their loved ones and one victim read their personal impact statements. In the end, the plea deal those victims were dreading was accepted by Judge Brett Wilson. Everybody was surprised. Surprised that Joe Lewis Esquivel was found not criminally responsible for shooting and killing three men and hurting two others at Columbia Machine on June 9th, 2022. This case has been very emotional from the beginning um, and we had we had hands on uh, at all the crime scenes. Initially, Esquivel was found competent to stand trial. Competence goes to uh, ability to participate in the trial and then not currently responsible only focuses on the event, the tragedy, the shooting. Two Maryland Department of Public Health doctors have diagnosed Esquivel with schizophrenia since the shooting. And it's not unusual that he was just diagnosed with schizophrenia because you very often see young adult onset of that of that uh, disease. It's hard for families to grapple with, especially since the plea of not criminally responsible means Esquivel could one day be back in society. There will be evaluations every year uh, because the idea of um, sending him to a hospital and not incarceration is to make him better and so that he can be in society. We don't anticipate that happening for many, many years, but there is that possibility. Well, he also pled guilty to three counts of first degree murder, three counts of attempted first degree murder, and one count of aggravated assault. In Hagerstown, I'm Lex Juarez, DC News Now.